Oh, mm-hmm. it's basically the same. If not better, because you can air develop it. So you're not sitting there pulling a baler out. So the time develop developing is a lot less. I mean, you can clear up a well a lot quicker and know gallons per minute a lot quicker than um, using a sputter. Um, but I ran, I ran a cable tool for 10, 15 years and they're good or just slow. That was the only disadvantage to the cable tools over rotaries was, was the speed. Um, but we, I did a lot of wells that, uh, if you're going through a short streak of gravel with mud, you won't even see it. You know, you'll just blow through it. And, uh, I've went to many places. They have three or 400 foot wells where they mudded down to rock and they got salt water or no water in the rock and abandoned them. And I've come in and got a 60, 70 foot well with a little three or four, three to five foot streak of gravel that has 10 to 20 gallon a minute of good water in it. And I, I say, I've done that many times. So when I switched to mud drill and I, I knew that was kind of an issue. And then when I saw the DR method, I'm like, okay, it's, it's kind of the bridge in the gap between mud rotary and cable tool. And it's, it's the sweet spot kind of in between maintenance wise, uh, like the DR every, well, I, I grease the top head and I grease, grease the lower drive. And then about once a week or once every couple of weeks, I do the, the stuff to list the mass and stuff. Cause you're not putting as much, you're not using it as much. It don't, you don't have to grease as much. It don't have as much motion, but yeah, there's only like, uh, five grease points that I hit every well where like the uh, cable tool, I'd do it once a day and you have the whole main shaft and there's about 20 <laughs> stinking grease fittings on that thing. So, um, and then when you get into the bigger rotaries too, there's just all kinds of maintenance with mud pumps and seals and all that kind of stuff. <laughs>